So this is our first question, question number one of exercise 10.1. And we have to represent graphically a vector of displacement 40 km, 30 degree north of north of east. So let's try to draw the directions first. So this is north, south, east, and west. So, so this should be 30 degree east of north. So we will draw it with north angle with north towards east so in the opposite direction so this is let's say 30 degree north of east sorry east of north so we will draw it with the north towards the east so that will be 30 degree north of east and let's say we are going to use a scale it's a displacement of 40 kilometer so this is say 10 say 10 20 30 and it's 40. So this is 40 kilometer and we have used a scale, we have used this scale as 10 kilometers. So that represents graphically a displacement of 40 kilometer, 30 degree east of north. Thank you for watching. So next question is question number two. And question number two says we have to classify these as the scalars and the vectors. First one is 10 kg. So 10 kg is a mass. And this has magnitude only but no direction. So this is a scalar quantity. Second question is 2 meters north of west. So it has magnitude as well as direction. So this is a vector quantity. Third one is measure of an angle. It is 40 degree, but it's not mentioned whether it's 40 degree clockwise or 40 degree anti-clockwise. So we don't have any direction, but it's just only a magnitude. So this is uh, also a scalar quantity. And fourth one is what, that is power and power we don't have any this particular direction for this this is just only a magnitude so this is only uh, also a scalar quantity so fifth one is a charge and charge is 10 raised power minus 19 coulomb with no directions only magnitude so this is also a scalar quantity the last one is 20 meter per second square and we know that these units are of acceleration so acceleration is 20 meter per second square and we know that the formula for acceleration is v minus u by t where v minus u gives us the velocity so velocity is a vector quantity so this acceleration we know that acceleration is in a particular direction whether it's in say uh, downward or upward when an object falls freely under the force of gravity so the acceleration is either in upward or downward direction and so this is a vector quantity. So this solves our question number two of exercise 10.1. Thank you very much. Next question is question number three. And we are once again to classify these as scalars and vectors. First one is the time. So time period, time has no directions, but only a magnitude, let's say 10 seconds. It has no directions. So this one is a scalar quantity. And next one is a distance. Distance is, this also has magnitude only with no directions. So this is also a scalar quantity. Third one is force. We know that we apply a force, let 10, say 10 Newton in a particular direction, let's say towards the right side. So this one has both magnitude and direction. So force is a vector quantity. And force one is velocity. We know that speed with direction is called velocity so this is a uh, vector quantity last one is work done 
So there is no direction for work done. It's just a numerical value. Let's say 10 joule of work is done. So this is also a scalar quantity. So this is scalar, this is scalar, this is vector, this is vector, and this is scalar. So scalar, scalar, vector, vector, and scalar. Thank you. So next question is question number four. And in question number four, we have to identify the co-initial vectors. And we know that the co-initial vectors are the ones with common initial point. So these vectors A and D, these have the common initial point here. And rest of them do not have. So our co-initial vectors are A vector and D vector for first one. And next are our equal vectors. We know that the equal vectors are the vectors with same magnitude and same direction. So the same magnitude and same direction goes for D and B. So our equal vectors are D is equal to B vector because both has same direction. And because it's a square, so both of them have same magnitude. So these are equal vectors with same direction and same magnitude. And the third one, these are collinear, but not equal. So collinear, but not equal are, so these are A and so they should be collinear means they should be parallel irrespective of their magnitude or direction. So this A and C are parallel. So these are, <coughs> collinear but they are not equal so these are collinear because they are parallel but they are not equal because their directions are opposite so a and c are collinear but not equal so that solves our question number four and moving on to question number five thank you for watching Our next question is question number five. That is the last question of exercise 10.1. And it said that we had to identify which of them are true or false. And the first one says that A and negative of A are collinear. And we know that collinear vectors are the parallel vectors irrespective of their magnitude and direction. and negative so irrespective of the magnitude direction and we know that a vector and negative of a the only difference so both of these have, so this is a negative of a so that means their magnitude is same but it's in the opposite direction so it, that doesn't matter the only thing that it matters in the colonial vectors are that they should be better so a and negative of a are obviously parallel it's the same vector let's say it's a uh, a B vector, let's say it's an A vector and it's in the opposite direction. So its magnitude is same. So the, because this is the negative of this, but it's in the opposite direction. Let's say this one. It's B to A now. So this is a negative of this. So these two are parallel. So our first option, this is true. And two corneal vectors are always equal in magnitude? No. Because we know that the vector should be parallel irrespective of the magnitude and direction. So the magnitude can be different in the collinear vector. So this statement is false. Two vectors having the same magnitude are collinear. No, because for the collinear vectors, they should be parallel, irrespective of the magnitude direction. So this is also false. And two collinear vectors having the same magnitude are equal. Collinear vectors are parallel, but having the same magnitude cannot make them equal because the collinear vectors can be in the opposite direction. So this is also false. So this solves our question number five of exercise 10.1, which completes this exercise as well. Thank you for watching.